So which do you think would be fastest over a standing quarter mile sprint? The 475 BHP, 550 kilogram aerial atom V8, something that appears to be quite astonishingly unhinged, called a BMW HP4 Superbike, or a Citroen DS3. Except this is no ordinary Citroen DS3, of course. It's Liam Doran's X Games winning Rallycross DS3. And it is 110% bonkers. I mean, just look at and listen to this. Unfortunately, it was a bit damp on the day, which meant that the two-wheel drive Atom, despite being pretty much the fastest accelerating road car there is, was always going to struggle for traction. However, it does have a few tricks up its sleeve, such as multi-adjustable launch and traction control systems. Um, I've been playing around with the traction settings actually and it's because it is kind of so damp we need a lot of traction control because it is really difficult to control the throttle with this car because it is so punchy and unfortunately with it being rear wheel drive only rather than four wheel drive of the rallycross car and um, one wheel drive of the bike um, off the line this thing stands no chance but um, let's play with the tricks and see how we go. <laughs> So to engage the launch control system, you select first gear, press the launch control button for a little bit. And now, hopefully when I press the throttle, it's gonna sit at about five, 6,000 revs. And then you just let the clutch out. So here's a practice run that I did in the Atom when it was a touch drier. <laughs> that is absolutely incredible what that feels like. I cannot believe that you're allowed to drive this car on the road and that it's got number plates. I mean, you do that and you do it just once and you just think there is no way the bike or the rallycross car is gonna go faster than that. It just feels as if somebody's let an Exocet missile off and that you're attached to it. I've got a control in here that, depending on conditions and grip levels, I can change the amount of boost I want and the amount of RPM I want to limit the launch at. So uh, it means that basically I just engage first gear, yeah. um, bring the clutch to a biting point, hold the handbrake. Um, and then that way it reduces, it takes all the slack out of any transmission slack that's in, in, you know, in it. Um, makes everything tight and then I just put my finger on the launch control button, full throttle and drop clutch. Simple and let that. go of the button. Yeah. And then so frantically start changing gear. It's less than a second between shifts, yeah. So it's just dunk, 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 dunk. So presumably you're reaching sick halfway down. Yeah, halfway down, yeah. And I'm just sat in one gear looking where everyone else is. <laughs> <laughs> so how much boost do you run in today? Uh, probably about three bar. Right, okay. Yeah. Which gives you how much power? About 560 say? horsepower. And how much torque? About 600 foot pounds of torque. Four wheel drive, obviously. Yeah. Go on then, show us how it's done. And that's it. Zero to 100 in less than five seconds when it's dry. With six gear changes gone. Just like that. Incredible. Incredible, that is until you see what the HP4 can do. The HP4 actually um, has launch control, much, right. like, much like the Atom. Um, to be honest, I haven't used it today. <laughs> Super um, it, yeah, I just find it easier to balance it. On, it's much the same as the car, you know, you, you're balancing the clutch, the throttle and wheel spin. Yeah. But with the bike, you actually add wheelies into the equation. So in an ideal world, you have the front wheel just hovering above right. the ground. And that means you've got all your weight on the rear tire, the most grip possible, and it goes away. In the wet today, it's, it's a fine line between just hovering the front enough and it breaking traction and wheel spinning away. So and has it got traction control as well? It does have traction control, yes. On the, the HP4 BMW, it has a rain mode, a sport mode, a race mode, and a slick mode and the slick mode is adjustable eight ways by the way of stamp. 
And are you using the rain mode today, or are you trusting yourself again? I trust, trust myself again. Yeah. I wouldn't say I'm cleverer than it. No, but, I, uh, you know. The, by the time you've, if you break traction and the traction control then cuts in, you're already losing that time. Right. So um, it's easier to have it all off and just rely on keeping it on the right side of grip yeah. to try and stay ahead of that damn rally cross car. Okay, so here's what it feels like being strapped to an HP4 during a soaking wet practice run. It doesn't look that dramatic, does it? But he actually hit 150 miles an hour right there. That, that rallycross car, if I get my best possible start, I'm neck and neck with it. And if I get any little bit, you know, a bit of wheel spin, a bit of wheelie, it gaps me straight away, even on the practice. It's <laughs> unbelievable. It can go very right or it can go very wrong. So I can get it very slightly wrong and it'll just be a terrible start and I'll sit on the spot and the wheels will just spin. Or I can get it perfect and it'll just be gone. He was saying, I think with the gearing of the rallycross car, he sort of, He's got that initial jump with him once he's having to go through the gears, whereas I think he was up to sixth gear and I'm still in second gear on the BMW. So, <laughs> 100 miles an hour in first on, a, on one of these. It's ridiculous. It's not the power, it's the setup and the actual traction. Yeah. yeah. Which, and obviously, after 60 mile an hour, power starts coming to play. And, um, you know, it doesn't, it's not as fast. But uh, that's obviously in the restricted setup it's in. If I took the restrictor off and broke the rules of Rallycross, <laughs> it'd probably beat anything. <laughs> So finally, the answer to that question we asked at the beginning, which is fastest over a straight, standing quarter mile shootout? Well, here's your answer. Between the bike and the DS3, it was super close. But unfortunately, the Atom, with its track day tires and rear wheel drive, just got completely and utterly spanked. Here's what that felt like from on board. So here's the data we recorded during some slightly drier solo runs earlier in the day. And as you can see, even then, the Atom got thumped. And the bike was the undisputed king. So I make that HP4-1, rest of the universe, nil. The end. <laughs>